Hello tea lovers, welcome to the tea plug and if you're returning, welcome back to the plug that keeps on oozing tea on a daily basis right into your cup. Now when it comes to Erika Mena and Safari's relationship, that's a whole roller coaster, guys. I'm not even going to lie because one minute they're together and happy and celebrating a birthday and the next moment they're talking divorce and it has been going on and on like this for a very long time and do you know who this reminds me of? It reminds me of Ray AJ and Princess Love, those are the dynamics that I get, all right, from the two of them. So now Erika Mena took to her Twitter to tweet a couple of interesting tweets, and she was just like, you know what, lawyer fees, uh, divorce lawyer fees are very expensive. I wish I would have, I could have followed my fourth great, great dream, and I wish I, I had become a lawyer and blah blah blah. Basically insinuating that she's going through a divorce and she's consulting lawyers and she's being charged. Now, if you know Erika, this is her way of letting us know that she's going ahead with the divorce. And it seems like each time they have a fight with Safari, she comes out to the internet and she's like, oh, I'm divorcing him. You know what I'm saying? And then it seems like each time Safari comes back, she takes him she takes him back. And I'm just like, the dynamics are a whole damn mess, man. I just hope for the sake of the kids, they, with time, learn to, you know, learn to manage the dynamics of their relationship because I'm sure it's not healthy for the kids like when they reach that stage where they actually understand what is going on for them to be going back and forth like that like mommy and daddy are divorcing they're back together that's confusing for the kids you know what i'm saying but then i'm not blaming her because i do understand that getting a divorce is such a complicated thing one moment one can feel like they can go through with it and then the next moment you're thinking but i committed my entire life to this hope to this person why not try and work it out and try and make it work and stuff like that so i know that it can be very difficult and the reason why i also think that is a bit difficult for erica mena to just move on from safari because clearly the boy is a clown safari is a clown and finally i understand why Nicki minaj treated him the way that she did that guy is a whole damn clown you know what i'm saying and i wouldn't i'm not saying erica is a saint of course the internet believes that erica is no saint and that's her karma for treating people the way that she used to treat them like in the back in the day including scene and how she was trying to match make joe and tahiti back together after you know scene and joe had just broken up and people are like kama 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 but on the other hand i'm just looking at her and i do understand where she's coming from because if you remember at the beginning of their relationship safari used to beg erica you know what i'm saying he literally used to worship the ground that erica walked on and the reason why it's probably difficult for Erica to just let go is when somebody used to worship you like that and then they stop, it's kind of hard to be over that. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to be over somebody who used to care so much about you, somebody who used to, to try and get you by all means for them to just be like, I don't care anymore. That's just so heartbreaking and it's very capable of shattering one's soul. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're thinking, what's wrong with me now? This person used to like me. This person used to move to want to move mountains for me so what happened for this person to not want to do this anymore and just you know being getting to that place of acceptance can be really challenging and i think that's what actually go is going on with erica she's still in denial she cannot believe that the safari that used to grovel and beg her is the same safari that is now treating her this way she feels like she he's gonna come around that old safari is gonna come back but i know guys like safari all right they beg the grovel and once they get you they treat you like trash they throw they toss you aside and i think it's an esteem thing pardon me for being an internet psychologist but i really think it's an it's it's like an ego thing he doesn't have enough esteem on his own so he feels like if he gets like the trophy girl and then he treats her like trash that makes him feel better as a person and it's really just so sad to watch so i just pray that erica mena manages to find herself if she decides to stay with safari 
I just pray that she learns to accept this new and real safari that she's seeing because now this is the real safari. You know what I'm saying? One can only pretend for so long. Maybe he was pretending at the beginning of the relationship just to get her. But now this is the safari that's there because I mean, you know, pretending can be tiring. So if she decides to go back to him, I just pray and hope that she would have made peace with who he is going to be like as a husband and a partner. And if she does decide to divorce him, I just hope that she puts herself first and then she does what's best for herself, her own mental health and her kids. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, do hope into the comment section and let me know what you think about this entire Erika Mena and Safari situation. Do you think like the internet that Erika Mena deserves it? It's her karma or do you feel like, you know, at some point we've got to forgive what do you think about this entire situation and do you think that this is just a storyline because other people were now coming up and like oh we're tired of these guys they're always looking for a storyline they're looking you know for a love and hip-hop storyline and stuff like that and people are like we don't care anymore so do hope into the comment section and let me know what you think about that now thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for making it this far if you haven't already what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that i post i post each and every single day and i keep you updated on what is happening in the celebrity world on instagram on twitter and about all things trending if you haven't what are you waiting for baby if you've enjoyed the video be sure to smash that subscribe button now until my next one see you